this is one goal I accomplished. I finished my first drafts in 2020 and I am excited. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Grace. I'm a novelist and fiction writing teacher. I share writing tips and strategies on this channel and a dose of writing inspiration to inspire you to write. So before I go on to the title of this video, I just want to wish you guys a happy new year. I'm so excited to cross over from 2020 into 2021. So today I'm going to give you the recap of my 2020 writing goals. The question is, did I achieve my 2020 writing goals? Mm. In 2020, January, I wrote my writing goals for the year. And I did not expect COVID, I did not expect lockdown, I did not expect quarantine. So I didn't write my goals with all of that in mind. So many of my goals did not happen. So let's get right into it. You see me looking down, I have a book where I wrote my goals down and what I want to talk about so I will not miss anything. The first one is to write every day. So I'm sure that if you have watched my past videos, you would recall I used to say, or I normally say, Writing every day is not realistic because we have other aspects of our life to get to, right? So when I put that goal initially in January, it was something I wanted to try out, try out. And when I saw it wasn't feasible with my lifestyle at that time, I came to the conclusion it wasn't realistic. So maybe it's realistic for you or it's been realistic for someone out there, but to me, writing every day is not realistic unless you are a writer full time. So writing every day, I did not cross it off. I did not write 365 days in 2020. Before I continue, I just wanted to say that some of these goals are not focused on writing 100%, but it's related to writing. I did create goals outside of writing, related to other aspects of my life, but I don't think I would share it here. But I would share some goals that are related to writing in some aspects, even if it's not writing related 100%, okay? So now that's out of the way. The next one is study courses. So I plan to take more study courses in 2020 but I would say that as a no I did invest in some courses which I have not completed but I did not complete any study courses in writing so that's a no I took a novelist diploma like that was the most exciting I did not finish it so I hope to finish my novelist diploma in 2021 so that's a no the next one is to read 50 books Oh my gosh, this one was a complete no. So when I was younger, I used to read books like crazy. I'm still young, by the way. But like a few years ago, I used to read a lot of books. I could read up to 80 books, 100 books. In a few months, I used to eat books for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But right now, I can't even do that anymore. So in 2020, I said that let me just read 50 books. And if I count the books I started reading but did not complete, I probably read more than 50 books. But counting the books I read and I finished, I read just 11 books in 2020. So that's a no. <laughs> the next one is to publish my book. To publish my book, I should have a first draft, I should have edited it, I should have sent it for editing, I should have had it critiqued, I should have sent it to my beta readers, I should have designed my book cover, you know, all the processes involved. And if you do not know, a video will be coming up soon on how to write a book. So watch out for it. But the point of this is that all the processes involved in getting a finished book a finished book that you want to send out to the world i did not complete it in 2020 so i could not publish my book so that's definitely you know the next one was to write my book and i know writing the book comes before publishing the book well i just said it in that format so this is one goal i accomplished i finished my first draft in 2020 and i am excited so yes this is a yes, at least one yes right now. I did complete my first draft. So, yep, I'm really excited about it and I'm going to be talking more about my book in 2021. Next one is write 1,000 words every week. I got this goal, I smashed this goal, I, I crunched it, I broke through. <laughs> so initially I was going to take it easy because I am a student and I'm an entrepreneur. So. I had a lot of things going on at the same time and I was just like writing 1,000 words a week would be fine. So we have 52, 52 weeks in a year 
if I'd written 1,000 words every week, that's 52,000 words the whole year. And I didn't think about it at that time because if I thought about it that way, I would have realized that if I'd planned to publish my book in 2020, writing it and finishing it to take the whole year, it wouldn't have been possible to publish it. But I just didn't plan properly. I started out writing 500 words daily. 400 to 500 and some things I did not write but my daily word count was 500 words I was just taking it easy and at some point I smashed that goal and instead of writing 1,000 words a week I was writing over 1,000 words a day and that was like good so I smashed that goal okay sleeping early and waking up early this has everything to do with my writing lifestyle because if I do not go to bed on time I won't wake up on time I like to start my day early Recently, everything has been a whole shift. Like, I am normally a night owl and I like to go to bed late. But I realized that when I go to bed late, I wake up really late. And I, at the beginning of the year, I had school and I had other things to do. So I decided to start going to bed on time. So I wake up on time. So it's just like trying to commit a night owl <laughs> to someone that's an early riser. And it did work out, but I wouldn't say I smashed that goal because it wasn't until recently, like, late. The ending of 2020 i started going to bed on time so it was so scattered some days i would go to bed like 12 pm some days i would go to bed as late as 2 pm during lockdown i used to go to bed by 4 a.m the morning and that's like two hours before people start waking up <laughs> that's when i'll go to bed because i know that i'm not going to do anything the next day while in lockdown so i was still really late up and it was working for me but we're not gonna do that in 2021 so that's out of the way <laughs> so the next one was to write an ebook for my blog so i did not write an ebook for my blog but i created a free guide for my blog it was very similar but not exactly and this was barely a 25 page free guide so i wouldn't call it an ebook it was like an ebook but it was like a guide so i did write an ebook but i achieved something close to that so i would say this is not completely a no this is not completely a fail i'll just give it half mark <laughs> okay so the next one was to create a writing course i did not even start let me say 2020 there was non-existent to this writing course it was something that was just like still in my head and i didn't even create the course outline like i did not work on it it was just a goal that was in my book like nothing this was a complete no i did not achieve anything relating to writing course so nope so the next one is getting a camera i plan to get a camera in 2020 because Photography is one of my hobbies. I fell in love with pictures at the ending of 2019 So I said I was going to get a camera in 2020, but I did not get it. So like that's a no Starting a YouTube channel. You guys know that I achieved this one because if I did not you would not be looking at me right now I achieved this one and not just that I started a second YouTube channel in December of 2020 so I have two YouTube channels right now and I did not even believe that I will get so you know confident and comfortable talking to you guys this way like right now but I achieved that and I'm proud of myself so I'm going to cross that off as a yes I smashed that goal next one is writing emails so at the beginning of the year I did have a mailing list I was like I want to start writing emails to my audience on my series and yes I did start and I already have some subscribers and not much but it's something I'm proud of and I'm happy I started it and if you want to join my mailing list if you want to get a letter from me every week like every other week make sure you check the link in my description to join the family so that's definitely a yes I'm going to cross that off as a yes the next one is exercising more so did I start this one <laughs> I started exercising more in 2020 though i stayed a little bit late so in the middle of the year uh okay not middle like after the first quarter around the, when we were on that lockdown i still working out like seriously i still exercising and doing different stuff but after lockdown like when we came out of the first phase of lockdown i'm currently in ghana so our lockdown ended in um, i think april the ending of april that's when I, that's when our lockdown ended so when we came out of our lockdown i moved to a different location for personal reasons and when i moved the environment of where i moved to wasn't very conducive at first it was really cold and so many other things i had 
10,000 reasons and excuses not to work out and the moving and everything was a bit stressful so I took a break from working out and that break turned into like three or four months break or something like that so towards the end of 2020 I picked up working out again and I picked it up so well that I started a second YouTube channel which is about my weight loss so guys if you watch this far I want you guys to click the link in my description box down below I want to subscribe to my second YouTube channel I would really appreciate that the second YouTube channel is about my weight loss about my lifestyle and it's about my faith so I'm a Christian and I love to talk about God and my faith and everything so on that channel I have everything relating to my weight loss my faith and my lifestyle is just so many wonderful vlogs and everything so please go and subscribe to my new channel I really appreciate that so for exercising I would say I smashed it somewhat right so on a scale of 1 to 10 talking about my writing goals and goals relating to writing I would say I smashed it halfway so on a scale of 1 to 10 I would say I am at 5 my 2020 writing goals and so I will be talking about my 2021 writing goals in my next video so make sure you watch out for it thanks for watching my video this far i would really love to hear what you think about this video so leave your comments down below smash the subscribe button if you have not leave this video a thumbs up so that person gets to see this video turn on post notifications so you do not miss any of my future videos and i'll see you in the next one bye